Hello, Namaste. Welcome to Doge Meet Rajas. Today we are going to learn modal verb. Most awaited video. I think there are many confusing residing in the topic modal verb. So, first, German signal thalnu boyo. Tar dheri problems haru aye ko maili guna suru pani pai. Like my own students had many issues with the modal verb. What is actually modal verb? So let's discuss today on the topic modal verb. This is very important because we need this modal verb in its kind of conversations because it supplies certain conditions to our raw sentences. Now what is modal verb? Now if you look at the word modal verb, so basically it is called as helping verbs. Helping verbs or you can say in German helps verb means the verbs which does not have basically their verb oriented meaning or you can say verb ko jun original meaning huncha tyo bhaneko kunai pani action determine garne meaning huncha tara modal verb ko chai action oriented meaning hudaina it just supplies certain conditions to our pre existing verbs suppose ma ya simply bhanchu i eat i eat food right ma khana khanchu ekdamai samanya sentence ho yo tara इसमें हमें कई कंडीसन प्रोवाइड गये देखिए यह सेंटेन्स अज मिनिंगफुल बन पुग् जस्त नाओ इसमें मंडीसन थप्सु आप चाहना व्यक्त करो आई से आई वॉन्ट टू इट फूड सो नाओ यू फाइंड देर वॉन्ट टू इट फूड मीन्स म खाना खाना चाहूँ सो यह सेंटेन्स एकदम प्लेन थो सेंटेन्स अज मिनिंगफुल बन पुगे क्योंकि खाँचु भित्तीक जस्ट खाने कुछ मत आयो म खाना खाँचु इसमें कुने अवस्था को चित्रण कर बट द विद द हेल्प अफ दिस वांट दिस सेंटेन्स हेज बिकम मोर मिनिंगफुल सो जर्मन में ये कंडीसन प्रोवाइड करने भब्स मोडल भैबिन भन एंड वी हेव जस्ट फ्यू मोडल भैबिन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिज भब्स नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट मोडल भैबिन दैट इज वाइडली यूज Qnn. This is Qnn. So Qnn means what? It means can or able to. Means कुनै काम गर्न सक्षम हुनु. Just say, मलाई जर्मन बोल्न आउँछ भन्नु पर्यो भने what I say is can Deutsch expression. I I can say I can speak German. So इसको meaning साइन क्यों? Can or able to बने को कुनै काम गर्न सक्षम हुनु. So first इसको चाहे कंजुकेशन्स समझि पर्यो कंजुकेस कंजुकेशन्स तब बुक में इट्स वेरी इजी ते मलिक लेख दू खान डू खास्ट थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर एर एस जी अनि मान इट इज खान नाउ यू सी द सिमिलरिटीज बिटवीन दिस एंड देन वी हैव वी अ स्मॉल जी एंड बिग जी दैट इज क्यून Right, and then we have ear that is current. Now I have written two z here, so this one is the plural of this third person's. I mean third person plural, and this z is formal as you know already, right? So this is the basic conjugates. Now to remember the conjugations, you just need to remember this can, and you put st. Then fine. Then this here is iman. You know, in all the modal verbs, we have similar conjugation for. First person singular and third person singular, so you can get that. So it's very easy. You can easily remember the conjugations. But now we have to focus more on its use. How to use? Now, if we talk about any verbs, we have to learn to use it very dynamically. Means how to use in different aspects. So first, how to use in normal sentence. So now let's try the structure to use modal verb. You can start with either subject of your sentence or with the Zeit. Means you can say the words that defines the time. So you can say time related word. Means you can use any time related words like am Zontag, um 9 Uhr, jetzt, heute. So you may use any time related words which is followed by the modal verb. So On the second position, we need to use what modal verbs. And the Zweiten Position state state does modal verb. Und dann schreiben wir entweder Subjekt oder Zeit. And then when I am writing here in or form, same thing. You may write here Subjekt or Zeit. 
So if you write time here, then subject should be here and vice versa. And then you write the remaining objects and at the end you write the infinitive, the verb which you are using. Suppose if I say uh, anything like I can speak German now. So I can say simply yes, kann ich Deutsch sprechen. Right? So now you see there, this is, I'm starting with the time. So second position we have modal verb. And on the third we have placed the sub subject or you can say subject. And at the end we are placing the infinitive form. That is the major verb. Now you may, you know, exchange the position or you can say change, interchange the positions of subject as well as time. So you can start with ish, kann, jest, deutsch and then sprechen, right? So this is the very basic pattern to use any modal verb. So in this way, we can simply use any modal verb. And now let's move to the question. So sentence, I think you, I hope you people have understood the use of modal verb, right? Now this is a structure, means on the second position, your modal verb lies and at the end we write the infinitive, the accent oriented verb. Now let's focus on the question. Now, how to use modal verb with the question? So, if we talk about the questions, we have to talk about Wefrage und Janenfrage. So, for Wefrage, so if you Wefrage, what to do? Normally, how, what kind of question we make? We simply say, was, uh, you can simply say, what? Was max to Yes, we simply say what are you doing now? So it is a very raw question means there is no condition available on it. But now if you want to add more condition like What are you capable of doing now? So yes, my the modal verb what we do is on the second position we put const do because for do we have to use const Yes, and then the main verb or you can say the infinitive goes at the end. So, was comes to yes machen, right? So, answer could be yes kann ich kochen. I can cook now. So, SRI say I mean, way frag of an means first way frag word means W question word like was, wann, warum, wo, wohin, well sir, plus noun and so on. And then we use what? Modal verb. Subject and then side and then infinitive. Yeah, and now we can also formulate the yarn and fraga. So for yarn and fraga, we need to start with the modal verb. So yarn and fraga means what? The question which contains answer and it should be answered just with the word ya or the nine. So we can start here. Like kans to yes kohen. Right? Kans to yes kochen means can you cook now? Ke timi oile khana pakona sakso. Are you able to cook now? So kans to yes kochen. Now if I am saying you when you go timi, so do does not mean timi, okay? So it depends with whom you are using. If you are using with your parents, it means definitely topai. If you are using with your friends, definitely means timi. So do basically does not mean timi or topai. It means both, not just one, it, it means both. So for yarn and frag, it starts with modal verb followed by the subject and site and at the end we write the infinitive. So now you see there, cast to yes kochen. So this is the way we can formulate question and, and sentences. I hope you have understood this QNN as modal verb or now I think you people can use in sentence and questions, I mean fraga, yarn and fraga. And if you have any questions, please write down below in the comment section. And I hope you people are understanding and we shall be continuing the video. Uh, you know, another model verb should be described in the next videos to come. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching Deutsch Metrages and please give us your possible feedbacks. Thank you. Danke schön. Well, I hope you have understood this QNN as modal verb. Uh, now I think you people can use in sentence and questions. I mean Frage, Jan and Frage. And if you have any questions, please write down below in the comment section. And I hope you people are understanding and we shall be continuing the video. Uh, you know, another model verb should be described in the next videos to come.
Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching Joyce Mitrages and please give us your possible feedbacks. Thank you. Dankeschön.